but in a good way, not in a bad way. Thank you very much for the sub. Really appreciate that. Guys, let's focus on this final game of the Jabati Challenge. And spawning up here in the top right-hand side, representing narcotics, it's no pret. Don't fret, it's no pret. No fret, no pret, no pret. No regrets if your name is no pret. No pret! Someone who was featured last week, I remember, because for some reason there's just something about clan narcotic no pret with like this fucking sick graffiti tag that is just going to stick in my brain. I don't know why. Um, so playing Protoss up here in the top right of Proxima. And down here in the bottom left hand side, representing President Reagan, it is Pasky the Kid. Railgan Gaming. Oh, it's Railgan. I'm going to call it Reagan Gaming. That's my new nickname for Railgan. Um, makes Trump look good in comparison, despite everybody hating him at the time. Um, yeah. Um, not really. Um, wait, Trump makes him look good in comparison is what I meant. Anyway. Doesn't really matter. I don't know shit about American politics. It's just vague fucking references. It's like um, when you just you're in you're in primary school. Um, I don't know what, what do you guys call it in, in the U.S. Fucking I don't know the school where you're a little kid, and you just like you just like say shit. You don't even know what it means. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, I watch Yu-Gi-Oh. They're like, oh, did you see the episode with the the card monster? And you're like, yeah, that was awesome when he fought the other card and the thing happened. And then, you know, your friends realize that you don't actually know what you're talking about because you didn't actually watch the show. You just want to fit in. And that's just me permanently, guys. I just want to fit in. I just I just wish I could be American like you guys. I uh, don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. Right now is a great example of that. No Pret, though. This is, this is the first wall off I used to do on this map. And I still think this should be used more in pro play simply because pros so rarely all in on this map. Why not be a greedy dickhead and just take this base first? Um, pretty sick way to do things. And you can actually do it with this pylon. Um, I believe it's there or there when I first figured it out. I, like, I can't remember the exact wall off, but basically with a single pylon. Oh, right. Yeah, I used to leave the gap there. So then I'd have gateway, core, and another gateway there all off one pylon. But I guess the problem was you couldn't wall off with a gateway. You had to wall off behind the gap with pylons. Anyway. My obsession with wall off, uh, you know, stuff is um, is pretty good. Elementary, that's what you guys call it. Elementary is primary school. Thank you, thank you, tinfoil armor. If I ever get in a spot of bother, hopefully you can lend me that suit of armor over there. Talk to the aliens in between, uh, in between dealing with everything else. Bad Zergen says, Day9 used to do this thing where he would decide if the in-game name of the various players was a Pokemon, an ancient historian, or a pharmaceutical. No Pret is definitely a pill you can take for an embarrassing condition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, um, yeah, I can, I can imagine that conversation with the doctor. The doctor's like, don't worry, just, just take this No Pret twice a day, and your, um, your problems with, uh, saluting the flag, um, standing to, uh, attention, um, uh, erecting the uh, obelisk. Uh, these problems are going to disappear. Just, just take your no pret a few times a day. You, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. No pret there, of course. I mean, he's in clan narcotics, so obviously he's a pharmaceutical. Um, Pasky the kid, though, that's clearly like an ancient fucking Pokemon or some shit. It's like a child trapped in a Pokemon's body. That zealot is not in the wall. Oh no, he's got a Zergling kind of wedging his way up against him. He's fighting two Zerglings at once. This zealot, wow, he's like the manliest zealot ever. He's like, yeah, come at me. Not one at a time, two at a time. Fucking Jim Diddy Reborn or some shit right here. Um, this other zealot's not quite on hold position either, but fair enough, that's fine. No Predator's finally cleared up that assimilator. Is making charge. Non-stop zealot charge. <laughs> oh man, after my own heart. No Pret. Playing charge PVZ. Meanwhile, Pasky hasn't really done any baits yet. We're gonna have to keep an eye out on both of these guys. I have a strong feeling we're just gonna see No Pret just like running in with charge lots from all side, like come over here, come over here, now I'm over here. And um and doing kinda like not like as obvious as baiting into burrowed banes, but more like the multi-prong of fucking death where the Zerg player is just so mad because doesn't matter how efficient you are at cleaning up some charge lots in one position, they're somewhere else and they're killing your mineral line. And Pasky right now is down eight workers already. Oh man, so no pret here with this like fucking mad greedy build is just like, yeah, got a third base up, non-stop building probes, eh, having a bit of fun. And Pasky's like, ah, oh, trying to get up a lair and upgrades and a roach warren and 
all of these things, but you're going to hit me with like 37 charge lots in about a minute, and I might just fucking die. And I don't know what he's going to do after that, because these gateways are already turning into warp gates. Oh, one of them being left out. He's the special cupcake, special flower, doesn't want to be like the rest of the kids, doesn't want to try and fit in. Uh, Zergling's dropped in the main though, holy shit, Pasky, Pasky, he's making it happen, okay, okay. Um, still down 10 workers, even though he's killed 7. Fucking hell, he's doing work though, these Zerglings are heroes right now, and oh man, no, no, no probe drill there, loses another like 4 or 5 workers, down to 36 probes and still somehow up 5 workers. What the fuck? What went wrong with Pasky's droning this game, guys? <laughs> committed a lot to this zergling elevator hey um he's how can he still be down in workers after that <laughs> he just did not drone he's got more zerglings coming out but oh zerglings against charge lot spoiler alert oh my god this is like sending grade schoolers up against fucking hardened criminals with shanks fucking oh man um yeah okay the roaches came out though so that's the that's the police with the pepper spray and the tasers um a couple of the criminals did get away, a couple of them did go down, they're going to be locked away for a while. They did break their conditions of parole by stabbing children with shanks. Um, three gateways are out, we've got a couple sentries there, a couple more gateways, warp prism on the way, oh yeah, warp prism! Alright, that's where that's where the magic happens, especially here on Proxima, because when it comes to front on attacks, Proxima is such an exciting map guys, like I'm going to give you the journey of someone going on a frontal attack. You just fucking follow this one path. And then you hit the front of their base. And there's no other way to attack. Unless you use drops or something like that. So rather than playing a, a very boring, just I'm going to try and overwhelm you with charge lots. No Pret is going to have no Prets whatsoever. He's going to erect the obelisk inside the main base of Pasky. Or maybe he's going to go in the back door of Pasky. We're going to have to see where this, uh, where this warp prism does go and where it chooses to erect its uh, field of power. Which of course is what it says on the back of the bottle of no Pret pills. Um, you know, retain your power come back and prove to her what sort of man you are. Take no prep. Three times a day. Um, Stalker's warping into the main base right now, and that drops just like, oh, run away, run away, run away. No prep. You can't beat that with three Stalkers. Can you? Can you? I don't know. If he micros really well, maybe he can. Charge lots run in. There's a shitload of fucking security there. Oh, no. The Stalker's dropping into their doom. No prep. Oh, wow. Got a little bit ahead of himself. Um, it didn't quite work out. Turns out a couple of stalkers dropping to 10 zerglings is not the best idea. Um, but, oh my god, you douchebag, no pret. Oh my god, the, the fight at the front was a bait. This was a bait. This, is, this was the bait. I mean, he kind of sent the bait in too early and it died and then he sent it back in. But I don't even know if Pasky realizes what's going on. He's only just, oh god. You disgusting piece of shit, no pret. I love you. I love you. Oh, this is disgusting. No pret, just pulling out all the dirty tricks and it's like, <laughs> and there's no gas for Ravagers. Cancel the Spire, make Ravagers. Cancel the Spire, make Ravagers. It's your only chance, Pasky. But I don't even think that's going to be enough in time. No Pred is still up nine probes here. Just absolutely rocking it. The sentries here even beating the Roaches. Um, Yeah, this is pretty sick here. Oh, one Ravager does come up, but there's more force fields almost immediately. The sentries actually, though, are getting engaged on. And oh man, it looks like they're going to get overwhelmed. Yeah, needs more charge lots to overwhelm these charge lots. Uh, needs more charge lots to overwhelm these roaches. Um, charge lots overwhelming charge lots. That should only happen in a PvP. Still enough force fields to hold that ramp for another minute or two. Um, and it looks like Pasky has realized he is in a shit position. He is going to accept that a whole bunch of angry criminals are loose amongst his children. They're all going to get torn apart. Instead of actually dealing with them, he's going to blame the system. He's going to go and protest over at Town Hall where a whole bunch of... Other angry criminals are going to murder him as well. So, okay, this is not going to work out at all. No Pret has just destroyed Pasky with the sneaky warp prism in the main. Shades of sad fucking Arthur right now. If you guys don't know who that is, you missed out on one of the most impressive pro gamers of all time who literally only knew how to put force fields on ramps out of warp prisms. And that was like 80% of his tournament wins over a fucking five-year career. Um... You know what's even less impressive than that? The fact that people like myself lost to him so many times. <laughs> and that's how he was still a pro gamer, despite doing the same stupid build over and over again. Um, in this case, I love it though. You know, shades of the past, shades of heart of the swarm. Back to a day when Ravages didn't exist. Pasky caught out without gas to morph those roaches into Ravages. Just uh, took a little bit too much damage. And it looks like the charge lots are going to just tear face apart, mate. Um, having trouble stabbing children, take no pre- No, that's too far, Tinfoil. Too far, mate. 
Not with where I was going with the joke before that. Um, but yeah, no prep's just going to get fucking j janked up. Stab everybody. Um, Pasky says fucking cheese, mate. Um, I don't know. When you're down on workers the entire game, even after you kill uh, 30, yeah, uh, 28 workers, I'm not sure. Does that count as cheese, guys? I, I need you guys to vote in chat. Vote one if you think it's cheese from Pasky. I'm uh, from no, no Pret. I personally think, I, I don't know. It's like, yeah, this is a fucking cheesy as shit play going for the ramp. I mean, that's that's what a bait is pretty much always going to be. But it does get the stamp of approval, by the way. But seriously, if you're if you're up fucking, was it 10 workers after losing 15 drones? Like, I'm going to have an instant rewind at that moment because this was actually just hilarious. This was like the most beautiful thing ever. It was like, fucking massacred your promo. I actually had like multiple games on ladder like this yesterday, right? Um, where I was playing and I was like, yeah, man, I just killed so many probes. Oh, I've been supply blocked for three minutes. I haven't built a single drone. And look, yeah, he's already building roaches and zerglings and like lairs and evo chambers. He like has next to no economy. So the zerglings get in the main base and Pasky's like, fuck yeah. And he just like, you see that worker kill count just go through the roof. It's actually insane. And after killing 15 workers, I think he even gets the pylon in the main. He's like killing zealots that are warping in. Holy shit. Boy, it's mining time. And he's still down down five workers at the end of it. Like, how does that happen? <laughs> Pasky. Pasky. Pasky was like accidentally cheesing. Because he I didn't build his economy properly, I guess. I don't I don't even know. I don't even know, but that was fantastic. Thank you so much for the submission there, no pret. Have no regrets. Um and yeah, apparently your name has a whole fucking dirty backstory to it now. Um so anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's icy far. I know I did. A um, couple of couple of cool moments uh, today. Muffinator is resub for seventeen months. Thank you very much, guys. Send in your replays for next week. If you've just tuned in, the, the challenge is I ain't no basic bitch. So you're not allowed to build any basic units to prove that. Prove that fucking statement, guys. No zealots, no stalkers, no adepts, no marines, no marauders, no hellions. If you zerg, no lings or no roaches. Fucking find a way to win with that shit. You actually can. Um, a lot of people, we get kind of so focused on just doing the same thing every game in StarCraft. We're like, no, I need to build those units. That's what I do. But you'll find it's actually really fun. You might, you're, Obviously, you'll lose the odd game because your opponent 12 pulls you and you're like, I can't build fucking units to defend this. Um, oh, fuck. No Reapers as well, of course. No Reapers. I, I'm putting that in the fucking thing right now. No Reapers because obviously that's disgusting. Um, otherwise, everyone's just going to 3 racks Reaper, and I don't want to cast endless 3 racks Reaper. Terran players are always the, the most boring. It's like Planetary Fortress Rush to get around the challenge, or Mass Reaper Rush to get around the challenge. And I'm always just there shaking my head like, get some originality, you pieces of shit. Build three starports or something. Um, so anyway, yeah, no Reapers as well. Thank you, guys. Send in replays, information in the YouTube description. It's also right there in Twitch chat. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to hug a watermelon, kick a warus, and of course, punch a cactus to the moon. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and good night. I held that's okay. Well, fuck, I can't specify everything.